are coming Put it out down, put it out down for you All or nothing, ask myself Was it worth it? Was it worth it now? Was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it cause I came up, I never changed up Thought it made a lot of sense and then I saw the pay stuff And now I'm paid up, I'm jade up Falling with the legends like I'm Caleb I met a thousand people but nobody like the day ones I write it, record it, promote it, then show it They know it, got the mind of a poet I'm loaded and flowing like oceans when I come in You know when they zoning, they blowing They on a bow and going while I'm whipping in the foreign Cause I'm foreign but I'm in it now Never quitting now, took a little while but my team winning now My phone ringing now, yeah they told me I should Slow it down, I should slow it down But my mind is never resting overload I can't control it now, it's been a long time coming A long time running I graduated college, now it's all or nothing Man, I could have been your dentist But I'm flossing on my own And I'm killing every rapper And I'm coming for the throne Been a long time, I'm coming Put it all down, put it all down for you All or nothing so heavy to train but she inspired me too. She goes every day. So, so it's important for poker players to work out every day in the middle. I think it is but I don't always do it. <laughs> but yeah, it's very nice to get some oxygen through all, throughout your body, you know? Yeah. I, you're training hard. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Welcome everybody. Welcome poker players. Uh, I just want to give you a few tips when you're traveling, when you're playing poker, when you're you know around the world. I know your schedule can be crazy and so busy. But, uh, you know, it's always give yourself at least 30 minutes a day to work out, yoga, Pilates, TRX, or anything that you like to do to keep your mind active, to keep, regardless of you're doing yoga or no, you always take that extra deep breath when you're making your decision, when you're playing a very important hand. So it's always interesting to be connected in that aspect too. It's not just the, you know, the money making, but I bet, you know, if you, if you take care of your mind and body and your soul, you will do much better and you will have a better time when you're traveling. Thank you. So excited today. Dodo. Yeah. Last name, yum yum. Yeah. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the dealer. She's the best dealer. Dodo. Yeah. Dodo in a toilet. <laughs> and where's the stick today? Hiding. Get it on, please. Where are you from, Dodo? Dodo, the young man and Dodo. <laughs> Dodo, bring your thing on, please. Lady, huh? Please bring it on. Can I see your ID first? <laughs> I would say just keep on doing what you're doing. Most of my philosophy, etc., comes from the Indian philosophers. And it's all about philosophy. In order to be a poker player, you have to be a Buddhist first. So coming from India, I would think that gives you guys a little leg up, you know? Because you, you have a lot of history with philosophy. And I'm more of a philosopher than a uh, religious person. That's why Buddhism is the way to go. So I'd say... You know, remind yourself that there is no spoon, and uh, <laughs> that's a reference from Matrix, which is like the greatest movie. And uh, enjoy your life, you know, that's about it.
see the game this year. So that's good. You're moving up in the world. Yeah, I'm moving up in the world. I'll probably be fired by the end of the week. No! Seriously? <laughs> I get threatened of getting fired a lot. You're going to have a, your own show in Vegas now? Uh, I do some stand comedy sometimes, but yeah, I like the sound of that, my own show in Vegas. Yeah. We can make that happen. We've got day two tomorrow. I think I'm winning this one. <laughs> oh, hi. So, I thought somebody said ready to someone else. How's it going? Are you excited for the giant? You giant? had a great meal today. Yes. And since sushi's on the FD, so good things are happening. Yeah. We're ready. We'll sneak in, okay? We'll go and wait. All the aspiring poker players or like professionals who have been playing in India for the last year, I would say definitely grind hard throughout the year, um, save up as much money as you can and come to the World Series. Uh, it's a great experience, it's the best tournament you'll ever play. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Elliot Rowe, I'm Muskan's mindset coach. Um, it's the night before day two and we're going to do a mindset session uh, to help Muskan focus on the game and make sure she's playing her best poker tomorrow. I highly recommend you guys look at your mindsets, especially if you're playing big tournaments like 10k buy-ins. It's a huge advantage that you can get over your opposition. So um, yeah, check it out and let me know what you think. Spots wisely. I think that there's going to be not too many weak spots at the table and the conventional wisdom would be to attack those people. But I think your best bet would be to go after the competent players who are attacking the weak player. And especially with the type of stack you have, you're going to be coming in around 40 big blinds tomorrow, 40, 50 big blinds. After a level, if you're down to 35, 40, I think this is a good time to bluff a little bit more often against some of the bigger stacks when they're attacking the weaker players. And hopefully you can just maintain your stack with a couple plays like that, uh, stealing occasionally, and then wait to get that big hand and get that one double up. And I think that's kind of the mentality we're looking for going into day two with about 40, 50 big blinds for the most part. So 10 hours of poker and the funny thing is you could bag at the end of the day with smaller than what you're coming into this day with. The structure is that good, but hopefully we're looking to get a few times more than what we're starting with. So.